If you like microwaves and high frequency, uh, I think you're going to have some interesting things here going on because we have some amazing technology that right now is going to completely change the way we do microwave design. Right now, the way we do microwave design is we'll do up a circuit in ABS, use ABS for microwave office or what? ABS? Uh, microwave office? Oh, oh. oh okay, good. Uh, to be a more valuable employee, learn both ABS and microwave office. Uh, one thing you want to avoid are engineers who think one program is fantastic, but they don't know any other program. It's like riding a bicycle. I can ride a bicycle to work, so I don't need to learn how to drive a fast sports car. So there's all kinds of different ways to do things. Sometimes riding a bicycle is the best way. Other times you want to drive a car. So it's good to be able to use multiple tools. And I'm going to show you one electromagnetic tool. I'm going to show you sonic. Keep in mind, however, I, well, I spent eight years as a microwave engineer before I got into electromagnetics. Uh, in 1982 through 84, I designed a couple of the very first gallium arsenide MMICs. Before that, I did filters on aluminum and such, and then I could go in with an X-Acto knife and tune the filter to scrape off a little bit of the metal. We started working on gallium arsenide, and now we can't go in there with an X-Acto knife and change the circuit. You have to get it right or you rebuild the entire circuit at a cost of tens of thousands of dollars, months and months of delay. So at that point, I decided there's got to be a better way so that's when, after eight years of microwave design experience, that's when I started working on electromagnetics. All the other electromagnetic tools.